All right then folks, Monkey Spaz 5000 back with another uh, liquid refreshment iron brew sponsored video. Do you have a monkey in your pants? So a couple of things before I start. Number one, I'm in a different position because since Christmas happened, this room somehow got messy. Number two, I've decided to leave autofocus on on the camera for once. So if I start going like this, I'll know not to use autofocus on another video again. Number three, I don't know why I'm wearing a Call of Duty Ghost t-shirt because I won it once, I suppose. Maybe. There was a number four. Oh, number four, I'm using a different diffuser on my light. So um, I might appear like white, like holy white, like an angel or something like that, but. You'll have to bear with me. Now this is a, um, what is it? A video response to the Gabriel Sin. Um, I will put a link to down to his channel down below. It's from quite a video quite a video long ago, a video quite a lot, fuck, beep, edit, not really, a video quite a long time ago, it was a video he done a little short time ago in the past where I thought, um, I'm going to do a video response but I never got around to it and, and the, you probably know where it is because you've obviously read the description because you've got eyes and you might be able to read, maybe not, I don't know, but it is video game rental stories, that's what it is. Number five back to the lists, I've had the underfloor heating on in this room because obviously it's cold, I live in like Scotland, it's practically like Antarctic is that at the north, hopefully that's at the north and it's been snowing like a fucker and it's freezing but this room's teeny totty so as soon as I put the underfloor heating on itchy armpits, um, it gets baking hot, I did have a hoodie on and I took it off and it's hot so number five, if I start visibly sweating and I look a bit peachy in the face it's because it's too hot in this room that's the only reason. So, um, video game rental stories, video response to the Gabriel Sin. Put a link down to his channel down below. If you don't know who it is, check him out. If you like him, smash a subscribe, smash a something on the subscribe button. Something like that. But anyway, um, video game rental stories. Now, he done a video, like I say, quite a little while ago, and I thought, I'm going to need to do a video response to that, but I never got around to it. So, this is that video. Now, it got me thinking, and I can only think of two video game rental stories. But I did definitely rent video games from blockbusters that we'd been in this country. You know, if you're from other places or you may have other cities, towns or even other countries, you may have had different um, video rental places. I think here in the UK, certainly we had blockbusters and then maybe there were small independent shops, possibly. But for me, it was blockbusters is what it is. And I say I got two stories. First one is um, it was at the point in time, a very sort of brief point in time when I had a Mega Drive. I can't remember how long I had it, but I did have a Mega Drive. And I don't know why I rented this game, and you'll understand in a minute when I say the game, but it was Bubs, Bub, Bubsby, Bubsby? It's not Bubsy. Bubsy, not Bubsby. Glad I didn't call it Bubsby, that's a hard word to say. Bubs, oh, it's that thing, Busby. <coughs> so I rented Bubsby. No, I didn't. So I rented Busby. Fuck. Bubsy. Bubsy. Is it called Bubsy now? You know when you say a word too many times, it doesn't even sound like a word. Bubsy. 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 Is it called Bubsy? I'm going to have to check. Bubsy. Guess what? It was called Bubsy. I was right. It's just my voice wasn't saying it properly or my brain was having fart issues. Bubsy. It's when you say a word too many times and it doesn't sound like a real word, word anymore. Bubsy on the Mega Drive is what I rented. Um, and it was Mega Drive 1 that I had. And I got it home and I plugged the thing in and I was like, all right, okay. So I was playing the game and I was like, why is it still like this? And the game was being played in black and white. Oh, was it an import copy? Nah, it surely wouldn't run full stop but anyway it was playing black and white on the mega drive and i was like why is it playing black and white because every other single game that i've got on my mega drive played and worked fine and it was not black and white 
I played it for a little bit and I don't know if it went the same night I went down or if it was next game day and I complained and I said, look, blockbuster lady, Bubsy isn't working on my Mega Drive. It's playing in black and white. Because I was like, there's no way someone can be wrong with my Mega Drive unless there is a known Mega Drive 1 and Bubsy compatibility issue. Let me know. Um, I was like, it's black and white. This is no on. I didn't rent a game for it to be black and white. So um, she gave me another one. I went home and I stuck it in my Mega Drive 1. And guess what? It was black and white. I played it, I suppose. And then I took it back once I finished playing it. It was a rubbish game anyway, so black and white or colour, I don't really think it would have made much difference. But curious, actually, Bubsy on the Mega Drive 1, is there a known issue? It couldn't have been like an NTSC game because it, it would simply not have worked at all and I didn't even have a SCART cable, it was just RF, so surely that would have made it not work as well. I do not know, but it was very, very, very bizarre because I was like, there cannot be something wrong with Mega Drive because every other one of my games works apart from this. I do not know. So the second story, if I can count, wasn't me. It was a naughty naughty, but it wasn't me. Um, it was one of my friends and if my small circle of friends from back then were watching, you probably know or can guess who it is. Certainly some people because you will know about it. And it's Boggy Pick and it was to do with a game called Doom on the PlayStation 1. Now, um, I think there was a demo disc, maybe on one of the magazines, um, and it basically looked like the real life game disc, apart from I think it just had the word demo or demo disc on a little area of it. And um, I think maybe my friend really, really, really liked the demo. So he then rented the game from Blockbuster and he got the game from Blockbuster, and I don't know if it was at the time that we found this out or afterwards when we realised he had the full game and he was playing it that he'd done this, but apparently, correct me if I'm wrong, people in the know, oh, my friends that is, from childhood days, um, apparently, <laughs> when he was I think it was maybe, I don't know if he handed it in or it was the days where you stuck it through a drop box when you're handing the games back in so you don't even need to go, need to go into the shops. But apparently all he done was, because the real game disc and the Doom disc, demo disc, exact same apart from one had a little bit that said demo disc or something like that on it. So all he done was got something a little bit sharp and just went and scraped out the word demo disc and then went, Whoo. there you go blockbusters. Thank you, Blockbusters. I've not got a full, full game. I've now got a full game for the cost of a weekend rental of a game. But it was a bit cheeky, but it was a win-win situation for him, I suppose, because he played Doom, we played Doom. Everybody's a winner. So that's it, guys. My two rental stories. I cannot remember any other sort of rental video game stories at all. It's not something I don't think that we really, really done um, back, back in the day. I know that we, we definitely swapped games between ourselves and, do you know what I mean, borrowed them and whatnot, but it was, I think there was very few times we actually rented games myself, um, or even my, my group of friends, I should say, um, from Blockbuster or whatnot. But I will put a link down to the Gabriel Sin channel down below. Please check him out. And also, be appreciated if you guys out there have had any um, video game rental stories, funny, noughties, whatever way you want to go, it's your video. Um, leave a video response uh, to myself or to the Gabriel Sin, whatever, because um, I'm sure a lot of you have had a lot of rental game experiences and some of those stories might be interested, so I'd be keen to know. But for me though, guys, thank you much for watching. Please feel free to like, comment, subscribe, and I'll catch you next time. Babsy, Babsby, 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 Bubba, 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 Babsy, that's it. Who would, who would create a cat called Bubsy? Busby. Bub. Bubs. Bubsy. Do you have a monkey in your pants?